All right, hey, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music. Welcome. In this video, I want to show you a brand new plugin for me. It's not brand new for everyone else, but it's been around for a little while from AudioEase. It's called Speakerphone. I think we're on Speakerphone 2 right now. And this is a post sound designer person's wet dream. By that I mean, for a lot of people, um, I know I've done a few films now, a few short films. I just did one, in fact, where we had a hard time making it sound like something was coming out of a police radio. And by when I say hard time, I mean, you know, we I, I use a lot of native effects, and there's even some stuff that Isotope makes that just didn't really get me past the finish line with that effect. Um, and I didn't know that this plugin existed. If I had, it would have changed everything. Um, AudioEase obviously is known for Altiverb 7 and a bunch of other great convolution based kind of plugins indoor as well, which simulates, you know, environments we can put a mic in front of stuff and have stuff sound like it's coming out of a, you know, a, a pilot's cockpit or the back of an SUV or whatever. I didn't know this product was around, but they ported some of that convolution uh, reverb, some of those uh, impulse responses into this plugin so we can instead uh, have stuff come out of tiny speakers, weird sound sources, um, you know, gramophones, megaphones, guitar amps, telephones, all the rest of it. And I know that this isn't necessarily a, a tool that's geared directly at composers, but I think it has a lot of really amazing sound design possibilities built in. Um, Maybe you'll think differently, but I think it's amazing, and I think it just sounds cool from just a what we can do with technology kind of perspective. So, I'm going to play a few different sample sound sources. One of them is is a, a track that I wrote just to have some music going through this um, this plugin. So here's here's a piece that I did a little while ago. I'll just solo this. <laughs> Okay, so you see, oh, well, you hear that that's, you know, some music. We have the speakers, like the sound source that we can choose here, where we want this sound to be coming from artificially. We have a bunch of effects, distortion, gate compressor. I say a bunch of effects, but these are actually very in-depth, and there's a lot you can do with them, and they're very tweakable. And then we have the microphone that we want to put in front of the sound source. We have the room that we want to make it sound like it's coming from. And we can also cover, almost like put a blanket on stuff, with this cover module here, an EQ, a pre and a post EQ. Um, an LFO, and down here is a really amazing sample bay. They actually recorded a whole bunch of samples that can be played underneath whatever it is that you're converting into, you know, an artificial speaker or whatever. They can play underneath to add context, artificial context. So like, let's say I want this sound, what we're hearing right now, to sound like it's coming from, you know, a big empty stadium, um, uh, and I want it to sound like it's coming uh, yeah, from, a, from a big empty stadium and I want there to be chanting and people whatever. So I can go here to the presets. I can do this manually, but they have a great preset for it here. Let's go to indoor announcements. I'll go to PA, uh, arena PA with crowd ducking background music. As I click this and unbypass the plugin, we're not going to hear my music. We're just going to hear the samples running underneath. So music two is rock beat and crowd loops is large crowd talking. So have a listen. So we see the room here is a stadium, the cover and the mic are turned off, and I'm actually going to double click and just turn this rock beat off. I'll click it once actually, just so we hear a, you know, a, a large talking crowd, and then I'll play my music. I'll bring it in. So that's my, that's, that's this. And now here it is in the arena. This thing is so good. Uh, okay, let's say we wanted to make it sound like it was coming from like a helicopter. I think we have a walkie talkie here. Uh, that has a really good helicopter track. Where is this? Intercoms and helmets. Uh, helicopter intercom three. So have a listen to this. I'm not going to play the audio yet. Um, here's just the samples and the sound and the kind of speaker quality of you know that little headset in a cockpit in a helicopter. So there's that. Now here comes here comes the music. forgot to turn on the room there. There's the room. Let's try
try another helicopter preset. There we go, that's more helicoptery. And here comes my audio. I think this is so cool. People might be checking out because this isn't like a sample library, but who cares? This is, I think this is awesome. Um, I'm gonna go here to some vocals, which sound really impressive through this plugin as well. This is just me talking on a, um, a tutorial that's coming out soon. It's about vocal synth, which I can finally talk about. Um, but anyway, here's me, just in case you don't know what my voice sounds like. Now let me show you how. Oh. Now let me show you how I made this sound. So first I inserted vocal synth two on the track. And then I set vocal synth to. We get it. So we can go to actually, they have gramophones, like old school turntables, gramophones, all that kind of stuff that we can send the audio through. So let's go through a mono, you know, 45 off center. Now let me show you how I made this sound. So first I inserted vocal synth 2 on the track. So we hear it skipping. And then I set vocal synth 2 to auto mode by choosing it. High school prom, 1965. Auto mode just means that you can insert vocal synth 2 on an audio track no routing or side chain or MIDI. Just choose some settings you like in Vocal Synth 2 and let the audio pass through. So that you know, vinyl static is coming here from a sample that's kind of oscillating in a very careful way that we don't hear the loop or the in, the in and out points or whatever. We hear no nodes, you know, missing the zero crossing. It's very well sampled stuff. Uh, let's keep going here with Thick 78. Now let me show you how I made this sound. So first I inserted Vocal Synth 2 on the track. And then I set Vocal Synth 2 to Auto Mode by choosing it in the Mode tab over here. Now, I mean, this is cool because we can we can make this music sound like it's coming from, you know, I don't know, the 19 whatevers. Let's go back to the music track here. I'll solo this, flip this on, go to the presets. Where was I before, guys? Gramophones. Let's see if this sounds nice and old. Hollow Dual Room. <laughs> Try a few different ones. And hear that? Sorry, you hear that pitch going in and out? I think that's from the gramophone here. I think they, they've added some, yeah, some wow, and maybe there's flutter. No, just wow curve. But that just dips things in and out of pitch. Now, at Isotope, we have a plugin called Vinyl, but this is like, this is really good. And notice I'm just going through different presets, but if we want to construct something ourselves, that's easy enough. I might as well show you here. We can decide to throw a microphone in front of it by turning the mic uh, on and off here. And when I click on this, we get the kind of mic that we want to choose. Um, you know, anything from Neumanns to Telefunkens and AKGs and all the rest of it. And it's also some pretty weird. We can throw like an answering machine in front of it, which is kind of fun. So I'll double click that. We can choose our room. If I want this to sound like it's coming from uh, we have small, medium, large spaces through walls and floors, which is kind of cool. So, you know, we can make this sound like it's coming in through a hallway. Double click that. Turn up the mix of the hallway sound. Let's choose another room. Let's go upstairs bedroom. to a few different sources here. I want to go back to the vocal one just because that really, uh, really illustrates some of the different rooms and, and tones here. Um, let's go back here to phone call in noisy places. So hands free in a bus. Here's me talking. Now let me show you how I made the sound. So first I inserted vocal synth 2 on the track. And then I set vocal synth 2 to auto mode by choosing. So you can hear all those sounds in the background. Auto just means that you can insert the Getting a call from under an umbrella. No routing or side chain or mini. Just choose some settings you like to focus on the audio. 
So you can hear um, just the raindrops puncturing the vinyl or whatever the umbrella is made out of. Um, and it's like someone's listening with their phone on speaker, like under an umbrella as those, you know, as those drops fall. Now let me show you how I made this So first I inserted vocal synth 2 on the track. And then I set vocal synth 2 to auto by choosing it in the mode tab over here. Auto just means that you can insert vocal synth 2 on an audio track. And, and this is call from a bike. Just choose some settings like in vocal synth 2 and let the audio Which is pretty track. cool. Let's do a few more. So the effect I've So I'm not a big guitar guy, but they did record, uh, they did model a lot of guitar amps. So let's go back to the sound example here. I think we're still hanging out with our, yeah, our super crappy turntable. Let's go to guitar effects here. 60s fuzz. And you see here that on the right, we have a bunch of different EQ. Uh, settings here to inform and accentuate the the guitar amp. That's loud. Sorry. Try a different one. Ottawa Classic. Marshall Crunch. Listen to that distortion. By the way, wet, wet, dry over here. beautiful feedback at the very end uh let's just do a few more i could be here all day um science fiction and robots this is really cool okay there's so much to this friggin plugin uh i feel like this is gonna be like eight hour video here let me just make another loop go back to the vocal one and let's go to these to these guys over here these um science fiction and robots so again we're playing with um PL, is it PL? Yeah, predictive linear coding, linear predictive coding, LPC, which is an old technology that was used for like speak and spells and Furbies and just 8 bit stuff uh, back in the 80s and 90s. So they've emulated it here very successfully. And now I can, you know, sound like this. Let's go to Yow Yow. Yow to try mothership audio guide what quickly and easily in vocal synthesis E.T. Esperanto Research Lunch. I don't even know what that is, but it's very unsettling. Professor Hawk's answers. Oh, he's dead. And then I, I shouldn't laugh. So, you can see the preset that I now let me show you how I made this sound. So first, I inserted vocal synth to Before. And then I set vocal synth 2 to auto mode by choosing it in the mode tab over here. Auto Let's put Steven in a forest with wind and trees. And we'll add... We'll add... Some drones. We can turn it up, by the way, by just... Oops. I think you can turn... Can you turn it up? But like, eh, There we go. We can add some reverb. So this is in a forest. Imagine if you were walking around late at night in a forest and you heard this. A 
So the effect of... <sighs> okay, thank you for watching. I just, I wanted to put this stuff out there. I think this thing is amazing and I'm amazed that I didn't know that it had existed for a pretty long time. I think it's just gotten an update now. Uh, go to the AudioE, AudioE's website to find out more. They have perhaps some way more competent demos than this. This is just like a, a walkthrough, fanboy walkthrough. Um, I will say this, this plugin is not cheap. Um, I think this is for people at a very pro level that are doing a lot of, you know, big budget movies or whatever but i whatever if you can get some money and scrape, scrape some money together and buy this thing and you're doing a lot of posts a lot of sound design stuff i have not found anything that manages to put everything so uh, elegantly and compactly into one little package here with the samples and everything else usually this is piecemeal you have to find the plugins and then you have to put the bed underneath and then you have to you know this has everything so centrally located that it, it's a real joy and pleasure to use so thank you audio ease um, this is an amazing plugin thanks for watching uh something different for the channel all right Bleh. sorry take care